I mean, we can wave. Yay, finally got this webcam after stupidly missing it four years ago. Four years ago, we came to Nashville and toured Andrew Jackson's The Hermitage. There goes the blue quasar <laughs> right up to the camel. <laughs> Gotta clean it off so we can have a good image. Is that better? Oh, much. Much better. <laughs> Woohoo! And I just opened up the map and all I saw were virtual caches and completely forgot about the webcam that was here in Nashville. And I was just like, oh my gosh. Yeah, Fair, move, 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 no, the, just to get the picture. Ready? Here we go. Smile. Got it. <laughs> And then we came downtown to look at all the virtual caches and all I saw was that we had to get to Memphis within a few hours. Oh, I gotta get up there too. Hold on. Cache Canada finally gets this webcam. I just gotta say hello. Woohoo! Go Cash Canada! I love this webcam. This is my favorite so far, ever. This is the best webcam of the whole day. Yeah! <laughs> and that was already two and a half hours down the highway and there was no time to turn back. So. We had to come back here to Nashville to get this webcam, and I am so glad I did. And we're with such awesome company this time, having a great road trip. This is cool. Okay, webcam number 67. Woohoo! Number six. Six. Almost 60. Almost 60. Well, we're, he's going to get there. He's going to get there. Okay. And I'm over 55. 55. You got 67. No. No, you only I have got 64. Four. Oh. 64. And we're not gonna let our day be dampened by all this rain. We're gonna enjoy Memphis to its fullest as much as we can by parking grabs. I thought we were in Nashville. Nashville. Okay, Nashville. Where did I say we were? Memphis. Memphis? Memphis? Oh well, it's Hope Tennessee. We Let's enjoy Nashville. Yeah, Nashville. Okay. We're in Nashville. Let's go. So we have to send out runners because it's raining and we have no place to park. It's pouring down. So we got one runner off to get a cure for the one uh, virtual. Another runner, uh, Lyric Glass, has gone off to get the name of the artist of the sculpture just down the way. And here she comes. Cash under the waterfall. Under the downspout, hence the term waterfall. Here at what used to be Marathon Motors, we got a traditional cash and a virtual and a really cool spot, which they've now turned into retail shops. It's a really cool looking place. You put your right hand in, you put your right hand down, you put your right hand in and you shake it all above. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. <laughs> As we're cashing along through the city, getting all the virtuals and traditionals on our list, we're also taking in the Music City High Notes Adventure Lab. Driving out of the car to get a selfie with the father of bluegrass. This is his two for one stop. It's a virtual and one of the stages for the Adventure Lab.
So this is a spot for one of the virtual caches, the Battle of the Bluff. And as a historical reenactor, I thought it was kind of neat to come here and check this spot out. It's really neat. It's nice to see that they uh, keep the historical areas alive. So you're saying there's 20 s Well, originally I would not have counted those because those are not pieces of the column. Those are just bases. Right, and, and when we got a column there that's built of three different pieces. I would call that as one piece. Yeah, that three pieces to me. But I think that because they're all separated, I would count it as one piece. We're in a conundrum. We have to count the number of pieces at the Capitol Relics, but do you count that one? Or is it just a base? And is that as the blue quasar was saying, three pieces, one, two, three, or is that one? We don't know, what do we do? We go with all the answers. Yeah, put them all in. You get this, you pick one. Okay, we had to decide that we would just come up with a couple of different numbers to go with, because there's a whole lot of pieces there, and we just can't decide, so we come up with one. We got our picture, and we're moving on, rain or not. Who's up for a dangerous mission? I think we'll try it. Well, it's gonna be impossible, we're gonna go. Extreme stealth is required. They say the mission is impossible. One of the most highly favorited caches in all of Nashville. And we're gonna get her. We hope. Nothing going on here. It's not like extreme stealth or anything. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 I've got it! They said the mission was impossible, but did we succeed? Yes, yes we did! <laughs> We can't come all the way to Nashville without getting the most favorited cache in the entire state. Exactly. Which has how many favorite points? Over 600. Awesome. And here it is right here. This is the cache that everybody is sought after. Is this one right here. Pretty and cool. we'll tell you, it was awesome. It was amazing. Well worth the favorite points. You have points. to have the proper tool yeah. of the trade for That's it. true. And Here's the link. Uh, we'll put the link to this cache below in the description. Read the description for this one. It is quite funny. Yes. It is pretty cool. So anyway, we're going to pull down two favorite points. We just have to, right? Just two, yeah. We, we only can allow okay. one each. Ready? Okay. Okay, Ready here we go. go. Shh. There we go. Awesome. So we're going to put in this trackable. That, that trackable I, there? That one right there that we've had for a while. And we want to make sure that you know how to log trackables correctly. But look up to this link right here to Bob Billy. That one there? That one there. And uh, check that. So we're going to drop the trackable Well, we're in technically not going to drop it. You're going to place it into well, the cache. We're going to place it into the cache, yes. Because you and can't now really continue... drop it into this cache. Well, I could. Oops, I dropped it. It doesn't work. <laughs> So you dropped the trackable. I dropped it, yeah. You dropped the trackable in the cache. But you know what else, guys? What's what? really important about trackables? What? You should only log trackables that you've actually physically touched and found out in the field. That's right. Yeah. Because otherwise, what's the fun of it? Exactly. I mean, yeah. you can just track up the numbers, picking numbers and whatnot, just and get them. But yeah. why? The experience isn't actually physically touching yeah. them and yeah. seeing them. That's and the best you, way to log. When you go to events and other people have them all there, that's a great way to talk to people. Retrieve a, a trackable from a cache, move it along, place it in another. Absolutely. Yeah. Or take it to an event and share it with your friends. That's the right ways to do it. fantastic day yeah it was awesome geocaching here in Nashville could have uh, we're done without the rain but you know hey geocachers go now. geocachers go caching no matter what the weather keep watching there's more caches to be found and where will geocaching take you <laughs> okay <laughs> we had a fabulous day even in the rain